What's going on everybody? So we have made it to where we're going to set up the uh, deer cane plus the deer cane black magic. It's out here by the Primo's camera. I'm actually checking it right now. Yes, I am wearing camo because I'm actually about to sit right here and do some hunting. Um, we had just put a bunch of corn out not too long ago and uh, it's all gone. So, <coughs> so right here we have the deer cane black magic. It smells super sweet. But we're just going to take and make a pile right here. So this one is the Black Magic. And as you can see, it's like a darker charcoal -y color. It looks pretty white on this camera. But it's a, it's a darker charcoal -y color. And so we'll have it set up right here. And then, I don't know, four, I don't know, about four or five foot away, there's the Black Magic. We're going to get set up the original deer cane. Um, this one's a white in color, so hopefully it'll come up on the camera and we'll be able to see just exactly which one of these the deer like better. And I chose this spot because I know there's a bunch of deer that come through here, so it was going to be a really good test and we should have a lot of pictures of um, what to, you know, what they like better, whether it's the original deer cane mix or the deer cane black magic. Um, but you guys will see all that here and it's going to be a week's time, but, you know, thanks to editing and time travel, you guys are going to see it right now. Just kidding. we got to put this out first. This looks like salt. Legit just looks like salt or powdered sugar. But there we go. We got the original deer cane mix right here. And you get a lot more in the original deer cane mix. And then right here we got the deer cane black magic. All right, everybody, so we are back to go over the footage. It's been two weeks since we put out the deer cane and deer cane black magic. We're going to look through these trail camera pictures, and we're going to see just how many deer came to which one, if we had any big bucks come to them. And uh, I'm going to put the, the amount of deer or whatever that came to the piles across the top of the screen, just like I did in the last face-off video. If you haven't seen that one, go check it out. And um, we did Wild Games peanut acorn and sugar beet crush in that video it was a really good one and i was actually really surprised with the results you guys are killing the view counts on these videos we're up into the three and probably around a hundred right now of views on those videos so please go check those out if you haven't if you like these videos hit the like button and leave a comment saying you like it and also comment of any other products you would like to see me try because I'm really having a lot of fun making these videos and since you guys like them I really enjoy making them um, but we're gonna get into looking at these I think when I checked the trail camera to start with there was 900 photos on it so I will start looking at those when I get to that or I'll start viewing those when I get there um, but I appreciate the support on these and I hope you guys enjoy this video and I actually have a pad and a pencil for this video that way I can make marks as a deer come up to each pile that way I don't miss any and I can just go back and add the tallies instead of doing them one at a time so here is actually a picture of me dumping out the uh, two different piles of this for uh, the deer feed we have a little bitty button head he's eating from the salt lick Okay, so we have one deer going to the OG, and we have one deer going to the Black Magic, and we're going to keep adding these up. There's another OG. We got some deer just eating. Oh. That looks like we got a buck going to the OG. We got black magic. Black magic. They're preferring the salt lick to both of them. This one right here looks to be an OG. That one looks to be a black magic. Like we got five deer. And they're preferring the salt lick to the black man or to either one of them. That's funny. Maybe we ought to do salt lick versus 
Deer King. There's another OG one. They actually seem to be pretty much leaving the Deer King alone. I had got a comment saying that deer might actually do that. They might not prefer to eat the deer cane, and it turns out that they're right, because honestly, if the salt lick was a contender in this battle, the salt lick would be winning. I mean, as you can see, they prefer the salt lick to either one of them. I mean, you can clearly this day see the pile of regular deer cane, and it's not messing with it. Now, this is a little bit of a different eight-pointer. Dang, that phone right there, here it is. October 1st in this picture and it still has dots We're getting towards the end of this trail camera guys and so far I think the deer prefer the salt lick to anything Right now it's all tied up going towards the end of this here uh, Card I mean honestly if the salt lick was in it it would win I mean the salt licks have way more deer come to it and then there I am coming to check the trail camera cord guys You're not gonna believe this, but we have a dead even tie of 12 to 12 for black magic versus deer cane now i think the deer in this area or maybe it's just this time of year uh, this was late september to early october that this was out i don't think the deer really preferred to have the either one of the deer canes in my area for the og or the black magic definitely had more deer i would say over double what we have here so over 24 deer came to the salt lick so they like the salt lick a lot better than they like either one of the deer cane or the black magic so for my area i'm probably not going to buy deer cane original or deer cane black magic anymore i would rather just have a salt lick and that's going to attract more deer so for me to spend my dollars i'd rather get a salt lick but as it comes to og deer cane versus regular black magic deer cane you know i think Either one would be a good way to go. Uh, I counted 12 deer, individual deer. Now they ate more than just a little bit, but I counted that overall that that was there. Now I will say that when I came and got the trail camera today, all of the black magic was gone, but there was still a little bit of deer cane original on the ground. So I don't know what that really means, or you can take that as you will. But I will give a shout out to one of my subscribers. So shout out to Joseph Bennett who actually commented that he's noticed that deer don't really use the deer cane very much in their area and I think that's going to be the same for me. So Joseph, thank you for that shout out, thank you for that comment and I must say I agree with you after this video that this has been out for two weeks, Both of the well one of the piles was gone but one was still there. So you know I agree that maybe they don't like this product as much in my area, which is the middle to south Georgia area. So, like I said, I would rather have a salt block out in the woods. I think that's a better use of my money, and that's a better way to attract deer. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this doesn't, you know, distray you from buying either Black Magic or Deer Cane. If, if you get, you know, great success using this product in your area, leave a comment and let me know. I'd really love to know more about your area and maybe why those deer prefer to have that to something else. But I know for me and myself, I would rather buy a salt block and put it out or maybe some of the Wild Games products. Leave a comment of anything else you want me to try. Um, I will try to do that to the best of my ability. I'm in no way sponsored by Deer Cane or Deer Cane Black Magic. Uh, this is just something I saw at Walmart, thought I'd pick it up and try it out. So. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button. The next video that's going to be coming out as far as the face-off series is going to be actually Apple Crush for Sugar Beet. So we're going to have a big one in that. Hopefully we'll have some good deer and some good um, you know, quality content and a lot of deer come into either one of these products since they both won their subdivision. So now this is kind of like the championship for the wild games to see which one will take the crown. But I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, and always remember, when nature calls, you better answer. Peace.